Hey everyone, my name is Victor Dwyer, and today I'm going to show you how to connect Microsoft Ads into Google Sheets using Power My Analytics. Let's dive right in. So it's very important that we utilize Power My Analytics to understand kind of what's happening here. So Microsoft Ads is going to be sending that data to Power My Analytics, and Power My Analytics is the connector that will send that data to the Google Sheet. So there's lots of other connectors out here, but today we're going to use Power My Analytics for that. So whatever account you set up with Power My Analytics today, please make sure that all of that, whatever Google account you use, it needs to be all associated with the same Google account that will make your life easier. So whatever account you use well, for the Google Sheets, for your Power My Analytics account, whatever it may be, if you just utilize all the same email address, it's gonna make your life easier, I promise. So once you sign up with Power My Analytics, you're going to see something on the back end like this. This user interface is gonna change over time, but it's gonna be relatively similar to this. So once you are logged in, then you go over to Google Sheets in the left, and you're going to enable the Google Sheets option. So that's very important when you first start out. And then after that, you're gonna to navigate to Sources. Once you go to sources, they're going, there's going to be a new data source button right here. And you're going to click that new data source button. And you can see I have lots of connectors um, enabled. But what you're going to do is you're going to navigate to the Microsoft advertising section. And so once you click on this, you're going to be go through the, like a pop up process. And it's basically going to want you to log into your Microsoft account. And from there, you would have successfully linked your account. Make sure you please sign in with the right Microsoft account. But once you do that, you'll be able to log in and it will stay connected and you'll be good from there. Now that that data is being sent to Power My Analytics, then we have to go over to create a Google Sheet to, to take that data from Power My Analytics and put it into a Google Sheet. So I'm going to navigate to my, my drive over here. I'm going to press New. I'm going to go to Google Sheet. And once I create a new Google Sheet, I'm going to call this Microsoft Ads Test Sheet. Boom. Just like that. Perfect. And then I'm going to navigate to Extensions. I'm going to go to Add-ons, Get Add-ons. And then from here, I'm going to type in Power My Analytics. Once you do that, you're going to download the extension here, and then you'll be good from there. Once you've downloaded that extension, you're going to go back to extensions. You're going to go to Power My Analytics. You're going to go to Login. You're going to log in. It's going to take you through a little um, a little pop-up process to make sure to verify to verify that you logged in. Perfect. Now it looks like I'm all good. Login successful. Now I just refresh my page. Perfect. So now that is done, I go to extensions and then it will pop up. Power My Analytics will pop right here. Once it's loading, it's almost there. And then I'm going to press show sidebar. So for this, I'm going to move myself over here. Perfect. And then I'm going to add report. Perfect. I'm going to go to Microsoft Advertising. From here, I'm going to do my hub. I'm going to click on the account. Then I'm going to select this particular account. And you can select all the accounts. You can select one. It's really up to you what you want to do there. And then when it comes to the date range, I'm going to press year to date, this year to date. Set range. Okay, so when you create this, it's really important to have some type of dimension to calculate. Usually date is a very popular dimension to use when it comes to this. Basically anything that you can define it as. So it can be like a word, for example, like a campaign name, that, that would be a dimension. That's something that you can define it as to aggregate all the data under spend. So as long as you have a dimension in a in a metric right here, you should be good. I usually use date, campaign name, and spend. And if you, you can put return on spend in here and everything else, but today we're just going to do date, campaign name, and spend. I'm gonna press set field. 
If you want to have filters in here, um, you're welcome to of what campaign names. Uh, I'm not going to do that, but you're welcome to put that in there. Order by, I'm going to put order by date. I'm going to do limit. I usually do the max, just in case. I'm going to remove show report header. This will make your life easier, believe me. You're going to want to remove that. I'm going to do Microsoft Ads as the name. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to press create report. Boom. Perfect. Now the data looks like it's being populated and it's all showing up and going from there. Usually this data is pretty hard to understand though, is the problem. Is that this is a lot of data to understand it by day, but it's really hard to digest this information and make this actionable. So let's do that right now. So let's, I'm going to exit, press this little X up here. I'm going to move myself over here and then I'm going to go to insert. I'm going to go to pivot table. And when I'm going to select the columns, I'm going to select all three of those columns. Believe me, you're going to want to select the columns. Um, that's going to make your life easier. And I'm going to press create. Okay. Now I have a pivot table. This is exactly what I want. And then for rows, I'm going to put date and then I'm going to put campaign name. If that's something you're interested in. So I'm going to remove the show totals. I don't want that. And then for the values, I'm going to do spent. Perfect. This is exactly how I want it. So under this, I'm going to make it a currency and under the date, I'm going to make sure I'm going to format this as a date. And I'm going to show you why. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this date right here. I'm going to create a pivot table date. So what this is going to do is going to aggregate the data to make this a little bit more readable. So I can aggregate this data by month. So that way I can see, for what particular month we spent on what particular campaigns. And what I'll do is um, I can see on this particular campaign, we spent this amount. So what, what I'll actually do is I'm going to remove the campaign name to make this even a little bit better. So that way I can see, okay, if I don't want to see it by the campaign name level, I can see in January, we spent $2,600, but in February we spent $1,700. And you'll be able to see how this, how these things change over time. And if you want to get more granular, you can go by campaign, you can go by ad, you can go by super, super granular, but we're going to keep it really high level. And I can right click this again and create another pivot table date. And then I can aggregate this by quarter. You can see that in quarter one, you spent $6,000 and quarter two, you spent 4,000 and in quarter three, you spent 2000. So you're able to aggregate this data however you really want. And you can even do like by day of the week, you can see that on Monday, you spend a majority of your budget um, every single Monday. And th this is, these are the type of things that you can see on a daily basis. And you're able to change the data however you want. And you're, it's a little bit more actionable the way you can look at it. So that way you can kind of read it in a little bit better view. So that's going to be the best way to kind of take in the data and put it in a Google sheet and make it readable all in the same place using PowerMount Analytics. Please let me know if you have any other questions and that should cover most of it. Thanks guys.